what are all these what are these three things combined trying to do it would be cool if 13th gen had better ddr4 memory controllers yeah but why what's the goal there right who cares if anything they need better ddr5 memory controllers right um like um let's say that video i did there um 4133 that was kind of a god chip right but even let's say 4000 c14 memory controller most 12900 ks can do this right or at least c15 most of them can right um that maxes out alder lake you could have you could have fucking ddr5 up 10 million and the fps would be the exact same as this that's not the bottleneck of the platform anymore right um so what do you think is gonna happen with 13th gen when they double the cash you could probably go to like 3600 c14 now and the fps would be the same if anything they could cheap out on the memory controller and still have the same fps like we're like we're moving away from needing good memory controllers we're not moving towards it anymore do you know what i'm saying zen 3d doesn't need a memory controller at all people are like i hope we can get faster memory speeds like why uh like uh, this is my this this product is my favorite product that came out in the last year man this cpu right here like this product takes away bios time dude i i like that i don't want to be in a fucking bios if if i dude dude let's say let's say um zen 4d okay let's say the what 7950x 3d that's a hell of a fucking tongue twister right let's say this product gets maximum frames let's say it's ddr5 only right so we're gonna use that example let's say it's using um 4800 c40 and you have like 8000 c30 kits out there right this is like a hundred dollars and this is like fucking six hundred dollars what if the fps between these two is exactly the same because this has so much stacking on it i'm buying this it's, 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 it's like it's like it's like um 13900k right needs 30 hours buy off screen to hit 8000 ddr5 or you just buy this zero hours bios screen you know where i'm going dude i have no desire whatsoever to be doing this shit zero uh, what the fuck like i'm like uh, all these fucking nerd xoc nerds are like oh shit i need the geek bench scores i'm like what gives me the most frames with the least amount of work that's where i'm going maximum frames least amount of work that's it dude i don't give a fuck what memory controller are in these things what frames least amount of work dude that's as simple as that imagine being able to play a fucking game after you buy a product and not have to tweak it for fucking three weeks that'd be sick right i mean i wouldn't have a fucking youtube channel but that'd be fucking sick right it'd be sick yeah, but who cares about ddr5 who fucking cares 4000 c15 maxes alder lake who fucking cares who cares about, who cares about ddr5 who cares about frame chasers 5800x3d who fucking cares 
I I don't know what this fascination with DDR5 is, man. Seriously. Check this check out the the graphs. CSGO. DDR4 wins by 30 FPS. 41.33. Okay. So, and this is 7,000 C32. Okay. So you get this to DDR5, 8,000. It ties DDR4. Who fucking cares? Who gives a shit? Borderlands. DDR4. 10 more FPS than the 1% lows in retro games. Okay. Who fucking... Why would you bother with this shit? Why would you bother? Right? Who fucking cares? Uh, Death Stranding. DDR5 won by... 7 FPS and the 1% lows. Who gives a shit? You buy the DDR4. It's cheaper. This... Uh, this and... And these variances all go away with raptor lake when there's more cash it's gonna be exactly the same you might as well just buy 90 dollars vipers and call it a day man are we gamers or are we exoc nerds right one second faster render times in um civilization six not render sorry ai processing times 0 0.1 second, one millisecond for $600 memory. That's water cooled. You have to be out of your fucking mind, dude. Out of your fucking mind. Out of your mind. Who who goes out of their way to, to tune that shit? Why would you bother? I did the work for you. DDR4. Faster again. Assetto Corsa. Faster in the 1% lows. By 5 FPS, but who fucking cares? Go buy some Vipers. What it what is the problem with DDR5, man? It's so fucking idiotic. Every time I see somebody say something about ddr5 i just think they're so fucking dumb dude i'm like did you not see the videos why are why are you giving yourself work unless you want the work that's different if you just want to fiddle like if you just want to buy ddr5 to learn it and to fiddle yeah that's cool but don't for a second say it's better for gaming we've already maxed out the platform here this is identical for both. We've maxed it out. And Raptor Lake is going to have more cash. This is uh, Outer Wilds, I think. Exactly the same. It's identical. The, the, the memory, the memory subsystem is no longer a factor in modern day CPUs. No, like, fuck me, dude. This is so fucking. People are so. Comet Lake? Zen 3. Ram Mattered. Alder Lake. Rocket Lake doesn't count. Alder Lake. Zen 3D. And up. Memory doesn't matter. They have so much fucking cash on them. It doesn't matter for gaming anymore. Just buy the cheapest memory you can find. And just use that. Because it doesn't matter. I don't know, dude. I don't know what the fuck to say anymore about this topic. There you go. Yeah, fucko. You, you, can, you can do that test yourself, though. Right? So, if you're going from 4,400 megahertz on a 10900K to 3800 on a 12 900k just look at the fps counter and who gives a shit who gives a shit right doesn't matter the 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 number the number that's shown in the bios screen 
or on Ida doesn't matter. It's what FPS is being spit out in the game. If you're a gamer, if you're a geek bencher or a time spy extremer, that's a different goal to what this channel is about, right? It's a different goal, right? Then it does suck going down in memory bandwidth, right? Cause that, that, those matter for your scores. But if you're a gamer, zero difference, man, zero. Uh, let me catch you up here. Dr. Vader with the tier one, my man Vader. Debating whether to use my 4,000. Yeah, but dude, I guarantee you, you could probably use 3,600 with Raptor Lake and max that platform out. They're doubling the cash. Double the cash, cut the memory speed and fucking timings in half. Not half, maybe like 75%, right? It's over. It's over. Stop worrying about memory. That, that, this fuck, it's over. Like, it, it, it's, it's almost like, you know what, you know what I think it is? Um, we we developed this kind of i say we but like the frame chasers channel like like we when warzone came out we okay we created a large wave of memory tuning let's just be straight up like nobody knew about fucking memory tuning for games right before the fucking warzone came around now all of a sudden you need to know how to memory tune it's, it's 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 like it's almost this it's like this elitism fucking hardware nerd shit right and then now with the next gen of products that are coming out people just don't want to let that go for some reason it's like it's like their secret to performance is being robbed away from them that's good for the consumer like a consumer shouldn't have to pay me five hundred dollars to get the most out of their out of their product. Should they? No, they shouldn't. That's not the way it's supposed to work, right? That's why all these fucking nerds don't want to give up their memory tuning secrets. It's over, boys. Stop worrying about it. Ra when Raptor Lake and Zen 4D come out, it's over. You now what we've been told for the last 20 years not 20 um when did ddr4 come out 2016 what we've been told for the last six or seven years 3200 c16 is enough that's that's true now you just enable your 3200 xmp and that's enough now that's true memory tuning is over it's gone stop worrying about it it's a good thing Tom's Doug, my man with a tier one. Tom's Doug. Yeah, dude, you just buy $90 Vipers. You're maxed out for the rest of your life, dude. What do you think? They're not, they're not gonna remove cash going forward. They're gonna keep adding it. It doesn't matter. Like, The whole, you know what? The whole, the whole premise of DDR5 doesn't even make sense. Think about it, dude. Um, so what, what happens? Check this out. Okay. There's rumors of that new Titan that's going to have 48 gigs of RAM, of VRAM, right? So let's, okay, just fast forward for a second, okay? Let's say you buy a 7950 XT, uh, X, sorry, X3D, okay? 16 cores fucking god knows how much cash let's let's say one gig of cash okay i know that's a lot but let's just bear with me here for a second right now you have this okay you have a gpu with 48 gigabytes of fucking vram on it okay directly next to the die and you have direct storage what are all these what are these three things combined trying to do remove the memory fucking subsystem get rid of it dude fast forward three or four more generations we're not gonna have memory it's over stop worrying about i need to tune my memory 
I need my idol latency. It's over for you. You're out of a job now. It's over. Your secrets have been fucking. They're done. They're done skis. It's over. It's a dead skill now. Now it's a skill to go back in time for a hobby now. Now it's not about performance anymore. It's fucking over. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. People don't want to let go, man. They don't like change. I want to embrace this change, man. That's fucking sick. No memory? Hell yeah, dude. I never have to look at a timing ever again. I never have to hear the word a tertiary or RTL IOL ever again. Fuck yeah. The day cannot come soon enough, man. Let's get rid of this shit. Yeah, dude, that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying. When the the amalgamation of all these technologies, the purpose of all this, one goal, remove the need for memory, timing, performance. And you know why they're doing this? And it's not that they're do they're not here's the other fucked up thing right they're not doing this for our benefits at all they're doing it because linus doesn't know how to do his job right the first company to come out with this where you get insane performance with no memory what's linus gonna benchmark he's gonna put it in there and press the go button and so let's say let's say amd comes out with this and they have like an 8 gig hbm chip as a chiplet whatever right let's say um 7800 hbm 3d okay 7800 x hbm 3d let's say they have that eight cores eight gigs of hbm when linus puts this thing in a fucking system and presses the go button that's it if if intel is still on traditional memory they're gonna get fucking destroyed right from the linus meme benchmark that's the whole purpose of this that amd started amd started with the whole cine meme and the cache thing and the chiplet thing they started a road for every other manufacturer to go down this road now of out of the box performance the out of the box performance is going to keep getting better and better and better and better and better until all tuning is removed completely dude completely so that's what's that's what's gonna happen the only reason you would buy a ddr5 platform now is because that's the only one where you get two pci express slots like uh uh eight by eight lanes because all the DDR4 boards just don't have it for some reason. That's like the only... Uh, so if if Z790 comes out with a DDR4 board with two PCI Express slots, everything else is obsolete, right? Anyway, long story short, stop worrying about memory subsystem. Stop worrying about it, right? And if uh, Zen 4D comes out and it's, it's like this shit, dude... don't be afraid don't be afraid to change with the times either i don't know why people are so scared of like losing their bios screens you should want to lose your bios screen if you're if you're a follower of mine and you actually play games you should never want to see a bios screen ever again dude that is like a gift from god a gift from the lisa sue god like i never want to see a bios screen you know what i'm saying anyway boys let's call it there